Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. Well today I have a TJ Maxx haul for you guys. Really, really excited to show you this. I was going to do a Target and I also have a Makeup Geek haul for you guys, but I was gonna try and squeeze it all in here and, and just go kind of real quickly, but I think for TJ Maxx, we're just gonna keep it in one video and that's because it's pretty big. I have some tops that I bought at TJ Maxx. I think what I'm gonna do, you're just gonna see pictures and I might put it at the end um, because I didn't bring any of that with me. I also have some household decor that I bought at TJ Maxx as well, but, uh, and I also have it from Marshalls and I did I just recently did a haul I'll, I'll put the link here if you want to check it out but I also bought some household things there and I think what I'm gonna do and when it comes to the household items I'm just going to uh, when I give you the tour of the house because I'm in a new home uh, I, I'm gonna share with you those items as I go along like you could see here I have this here <laughs> and then I have that here uh, these actually have lights and they're solar panel lights. Uh, they're supposed to kind of like go outside in your garden, if that's what the box says. But uh, I had an idea for them inside because uh, this per the room here, the master bedroom, gets sun, the direct heat of the sun all day long, pretty much. I mean, it seriously, uh, this is gonna be the hottest room of the house. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes for this summer. But anyways, they are solar panel and they get the sun. There's two of them. And they just get the sun all day long. And at nighttime, I think it's around 7 o'clock, 7.30ish, they go on. And it's really, really nice. But I'm going to show you those more officially uh, in, in that home, home uh, tour kind of thing. So we'll, we'll save all of that. But the tops and things, you'll see pictures of that at the end. So let's go ahead and start with this here. Uh, I bought these, you guys know these are my favorite, these Pure Gum. Uh, these were actually on clearance for $2.50. And I bought, I think about three of these. And then I bought the bubble gum one, which I've already tore into. And they were $2.50. And I got, I think three of these and three of these. But my husband actually took some to hit the office with him, so he has some too. By the way, guys, this stuff that I'm showing you, it's not in one trip. I've, I've since been going back to the TJ Maxx. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, what else do I wanna show you? And then I bought these. Um, these are the Ray Dunn soap, uh, bars of soap, and they were uh, $2. And I got this one, this one, and I got this one. Now they had another one. I don't remember what it said, but it was very, very spicy. Very, I don't know if it was uh, all spice or something like that, but it was very, very spicy, too much. This one here is close to being kind of like that, but it's more, uh, yeah, it's more, Mm, maybe it has some like allspice, but it wasn't as strong as that other one. So I got those. This is the first time I'm going to try these. And I figured for um, $2, I'll give them a go because I needed some. Usually I get the Yardleys from Dollar Tree, but they're $1.25. And this is a bigger bar for $2. I thought I would try it. The other thing I got is this Nail Addict from Art Adele, and it's the glue. I've never tried the uh, Adele one. Um, so we'll see how this one is. And this one was uh, $3.99 for that one. All right, let's see what else do we have here. Uh, I have like Target up here, that's why it's confusing me. Okay, the other thing I bought was this coconut milk here. And this one was uh, $5.50 on clearance and I've used it, so that's why it's kind of wet. I have used this and I did it because my hair is extremely, I mean, extremely just in bad shape. Um, first of all, I need a haircut, which by the way, I have an appointment tomorrow. <laughs> I'm nervous. This, this, this needs help. Anyways, I got this, I used it and this is amazing. I like it. My hair took to it really, really well 
and um, it's color safe, free of sulfates and parabens and gluten. And this is for normal, normal to dry hair. My hair is just extremely dry and that's the brand and I like it. And I'm sure once I get my hair in better shape, um, it'll be good. And you use that once a week. So I even have it in my planner, like when I used it last. <laughs> Anyways, moving on, moving on. Okay, let's talk about this really quick. I bought this Laura Geller set uh, foundation and fundamentals, a three-piece collection. And you get the foundation, the mascara, and you do get the, this is like a lip balm in my opinion. Let me take it out. Anyway, here it is. I have used it. The color is beige. Um, this is to me, this is a medium coverage. To me, no way is this. Let me show you what it is. It's Laura Geller Filter First. And it is a foundation. It's a illuminating foundation. Illuminating foundation. It is yellow to me, but I did blend it with the Catrice one that I have that's really, really light. And it worked out fine. So that's not a problem. I'll be able to use this up with the Catrice one. $5.99 was the kit. So I thought I would go ahead and take a chance. Uh, but this in no way, shape, or form for me is full coverage. This is definitely very light to medium coverage buildable but to a medium coverage buildable once i put it in with the catrice then it became to me like a more medium full coverage but on its own no the color is off for me anyway but um yeah i, I don't know if they sell this i just got it there for 5.99 with this kit the mascara i have since used as well um and i love this wand i love these tiny tiny wand wands however this one is really really tiny um glam lash uh, dramatic volumizing mascara i will tell you that um uh, <clears throat> it separated my lashes beautifully just how i like them but it actually did nothing for them other than that however however i'm going to keep it because of the wand size it's very very tiny uh, very tiny and this is great for the bottom lashes and that's what i'm going to use it for so that that's good it's not going to go to waste by any means this one here, beautiful color, absolutely gorgeous color, up my alley, really pretty, uh, no no longevity to this at all, does not last at all, uh, it's just a nice balm. Um, my lips tend to be pigmented, uh, so it, it, it sort of blends in nicely with my lips, I think. Uh, but it really wears out really really quickly. I love the the case though. It's very sturdy Very sturdy case. So not impressed overall with the kit But for $5.99 and I am gonna get my use out of it It's well that was okay for me to try like it was worth for me to risk that anyways. It's okay I, I'm gonna be able to use it. It's just it, Overall it was not a great hit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying the other thing I purchased was this BH uh, Paradise Set. This is the Hydrating Setting Spray. I've seen a couple people on here talk very good about this. And when I seen it, they're on clearance for $4.50. I jumped, I jumped on it. I have used it. Let me, let me get myself a little spritz, shall we? Shall we? Together ever since we left. I guess it just makes sense to it. Oh, that is so nice. So nice. Uh, it's a very, very fine, fine mist. Smells okay. There is some, some type of scent, but it's it's a very, very light, light scent. Very nice. However, I'm tempted to keep continue to use this, but I'm not. Because in my backup stash, I have found a setting spray from, what was it, Kula or something like that? And I'm going to pull that out um, and, and kind of keep this... I have makeup, my makeup uh, is already set since moving in. I have put my makeup away and I have like three spare drawers. So that's where it's going to go for now. All right. All right. So I'm going to use the other one first and get that, get that used up. Okay. The other thing uh, I've been using and I found there at TJ Maxx for $3.99, not on clearance, was the Holy Hydration. Oh, it's a statement. Holy Hydration because like exclamation point uh, booster drops with hyaluronic acid and vitamin E elf skin um, looks like this I have been using it now for about a good two weeks like it 
I use it and I keep it in the bathroom because after I shower I go ahead and apply this and I absolutely like it. it it's very nice. Very, very nice. I kept the package until I did this haul, but I don't keep packages. <laughs> but anyway, very nice. I really, really like it. Very, very nice. Um, okay, the other thing I got there was Burt's Bees Firming Eye Cream. I'm on a hunt for some really good, good eye cream. Um, so I thought I would give this one a try. This one was $11.99, but I have been using it. I bought it the same day I bought that e.l.f. and I've been using it the same amount of time. And I do find that my eyelids are finally less dry. This is really good. I like it. I really do. But um, I'm going to be trying other products. Uh, this year, I really, really want to get into skincare. And so you're going to be seeing some things in the future. I'm going to share with you guys. <laughs> I'm excited. But I, I really do want to invest more in my skincare. Take care of myself. It's been a long time for me going through the ringer on some things in life that, you know, kind of ugh, put me bad in a bad headspace or whatever. But uh, I just, I'm excited to like get healthy overall and skincare and skin routine and all that is part of it. My hair and everything, taking care of all of that. All right. The next thing here I have is Becca. Uh, I know Becca is no longer, so a lot of their stuff is there at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but this is the, um, like the illuminating primer. I had a sample of this uh, a, over a year ago or whatever, and I used it and I absolutely loved it. But um, look at that pretty packaging. Yeah, I've been using this as well, probably four or five times, and I, I love it. It's really, really nice, and I only paid $5.99 for it, but I know Becca is like that product that is no longer, huh? So I really liked it though. Really did like that and do like that. Um, okay, I'm gonna trash that. The other thing I picked up was, oh, here, let me show you this one, is the uh, Beauty Blender Opal Essence. And this is also a serum primer, radiance, uh, moisture. I'm trying to read it without my glasses base serum <laughs> sorry guys I have my glasses right here too um, I have been using this one as well I bought it a little bit before that Becca one uh, did I tell you how much I paid for this one I paid uh, four dollars on clearance for this one I hit those clearance section the only thing with that is you really have to make sure that it's not opened you know and a lot of times what I do is I take the clearance section the clearance stuff and the cashier and I we will open together because I, I just, you know, eyeshadows, I'm, I don't, I'm not, I don't have, well, <laughs> eyeshadows, I don't have a problem with them so much so because I can disinfect it. But a lot of, a lot of like more of the creamier things and stuff like that. Ugh. Anyway, I got this. This is really interesting to me. Very interesting. I really like it. I have it on today. Um, let me see if I can get you a little. Oh, okay. That Laura was not a little. But it, it really is just like an opal, like an opalescence, illuminating primer. Really nice. Um, really like it. I really do. Um, look at that. Now, it doesn't come, you're not going to look like, you know, like a shine or like, like a overly shiny. It's, it does soak into your skin. Um, it does. But, and it doesn't leave you uber tacky either. It's just really nice. It's very, very nice. I like this a lot. Um, and for um, $4, yeah. And it, actually, if I see this again, I probably will buy this as a backup because I see myself using this one a lot. You know, guys, I talked about the uh, Beauty Blender Foundation and how I actually like that. Um, I do and I really want to get uh, that foundation I know they sell it at Sephora and I really want to get it to match me better so I want to go into a Sephora and have them have them do that for me okay this one is from Mally I do know that uh, this is the um, foggy night and celestial sky and they're basically um, cream shadows um, here let me show you they come in like the L'Oreal thing do you remember the L'Oreal uh, look, I've, I've used this one uh, with the uh, what's it called from ColourPop, the quartz palette. I use that with that one um, and uh, this one as well. Really pretty. I like it. 
a very silky this one this one I have not used though I did swatch um, very nice this one can just go on its own they both can actually okay they're okay I mean I wouldn't have paid it's a dollar that's what I paid for it a dollar <laughs> and uh, I'm glad I you know I glad I have it and and this one helped out with the color pop shadows and so I'm glad that I have that I throw the box away now <laughs> all right then I bought this one here, uh, Ico. Ico. This is mascara, and it's the Catch and Curl Black. This is waterproof, and it won an Allure award, and so that's why I picked it up. And this was four dollars. I don't mind waterproof. Uh, I'll do anything. I'll use anything as long as my lashes um, stay up and curled and spread. You know, I want them to spread out. Uh, I, this is a weird kind of container because it's like in a tube. I don't think I've ever had a mascara like that. I have used this uh, as well. Uh, I will say I do like it. I want to use it a little bit more. I do believe for a waterproof, if I'm not mistaken, this flaked a little bit as well. Yeah, but I, I will let you know. I'm going to keep using this one. Um, makes perfect lashes. Uh, your goal make perfect lashes your goal sports waterproof uh, and I did use the Clinique um, Makeup balm remover and it came out perfect. I mean it, it you didn't struggle too much It came out really really good. I mean, it's waterproof, but I don't think it's like, you know the rocket foundation the one I my absolute favorite the rocket one That's not waterproof and that acts like waterproof. It is hard to get out so, but with the Clinique eye balm, or not eye balm, but makeup balm remover, I just with that one and it, and it, and it comes off. Um, but this is not, a, this is not as uh, hard to take off as a rocket one. So anyway, there's that. Uh, I'll keep you posted on that. Um, as of right now, like if I were to see this for four bucks there, mm, but again, you, you guys know my lashes, they're, they're problematic. Excuse me. Okay, I got this. Uh, what is it? Doll face um, thing here for two dollars, and uh, it said on here. It says, "Okay, let's let's not struggle. Let let's not struggle. Let's get the glasses on, shall we? Stretch it out." It says cream camouflage, and this is this no crease long wearing coverage moves with your expressions to blank out blemishes imperfection discoloration and dark circles when i read dark circles that is what got me okay i used it twice um uh, because i i got some dark circles i used it twice it looks like this it's a green thing here uh put it on and it's nice I say it works great, but it's still not my pixie. My pixie one in um, brightening, was it brightening peach? The little pod one that I put, yeah. But I only paid $2, so, and I'm still gonna use it. It's still good. I have a lot of uh, capillaries like right here, or very tiny veinings right here, and it does really, really good right there. Very nice. Very nice. I, I, I do like it. It's good. For $2, I'm glad I'm trying it out and I will be using it. This. <laughs> I was so excited to find this. MAC Prep and Prime Lip Base. It's like a lip primer. This is, I have used, I have used in the past like two of these. Absolutely love this. I love this a lot. It's just a lip primer. Just a lip primer, but oh my goodness. This one is, it's thin but wow does it prime my lips makes my lips feel good very nice love it I paid five dollars on clearance so I'm glad let me throw the package away I am glad that I have that uh wow I think we're just about done here the only other thing let me show you here is this I got this uh, necklace actually actually my hubby purchased this for me it came in this little satchel kind of bag here and uh, let's see I can tell you the from Noah Zuman Zuman uh, sterling silver 
sterling silver and uh, originally $19.99 compared to $28 but then they had it on clearance for $16. I saw it in the showcase there in the glass case. I saw it and I just absolutely loved it. And my husband said get it and it was our anniversary so uh, March 4th was our anniversary so he he picked that up for me <laughs> he said get it get it and I said okay <laughs> anyways guys that is it for uh, this uh, TJ Maxx haul oh, thought I was gonna be here longer not too bad I don't think but yeah a lot of these pro products I really really do like I'm glad that I got to um, get them the Laura Geller thing uh, for $5.99 really worth me trying it out not a bad deal to try it out like i said this is not going to go to waste this mascara it's just going to go for the bottom lashes this to me i'm a full coverage kind of gal i love full coverage foundation that's me uh, this is definitely not that it, i don't even think it claims it though let me let me let me be clear nowhere have i seen that this claims it's full coverage let me make sure before i start before i start talking here um no nowhere here does this say this is it just says oh it says uh non-filter needed after blending on our pearl infused light diffusing first filter first luminous foundation powered by a luminous luminous smooth technology the foundation creates the perfect canvas for your most effortlessly radiant look yeah no for me it's, it's just not it's just not it and this is just a really nice balm lip balm and it's it's nice i like the color that's it my friends that is everything i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys are doing well and stay tuned for my target haul and then i will have a make makeup geek haul for you guys so you'll see me in the same getup all right my friends that is it i'll talk to you later okay bye.